uh, sort of mention a little bit of what's going on here. So Chefs uh, basically is our largest and our most complete uh, reference implementation for uh, basically, oh, <laughs> for basically, yeah, there you go, there's a slide. Uh, so it's uh, built for real world uh, scenarios for complex, uh, like rich UI, complex navigation scenarios. And it comes with all the bells and whistles that we provide from Uno Core, from our first party libraries like Uno Extensions, Uno Toolkit, and uh, material design theming from Uno Themes, uh, as well as uh, third party components uh, for things like uh, like live charts and, and things like that, right? So um, if you're going into the recipe details, oh, sorry, I'm not sorry, yeah. So we could share my screen now. Um, so if you're going into uh, uh, your recipe details here, you know what I mean? We, we saw most of this already, but we have things like uh, live charts uh, and, and third party components that are available into the application as well. Um, and so there's just a, it's just a very thorough reference application that can do a lot of stuff. And uh, one of the great things is, are these like, you know, complex sort of scenarios and navigation. So here I have my flyout and within the flyout, I have complex navigation. I'm going, uh, so I have sort of stack navigation on top of my main page navigation here, and we can do, you know, all sorts of crazy stuff. So um, there's a lot going on in this application. It is very feature rich. Um, we tried to use everything that we have available uh, within our platform itself. Um, so as a companion for um, Uno Chefs itself, um, well, we, we have this overview here and it, it sort of breaks down, you know, the features and what we have and availability. But what I want to point out is the recipe book. So on our documentation live right now, um, along with the overview for chefs and explaining what it is, uh, we have what we call the recipe book uh, that goes along with our chefs app, right? And so this is a companion guide for basically all the practical ways and, and uh, guidance to use these proper best patterns and practices that we think are the best ways to develop .NET applications in a cross-platform world, right? So um, I'm not going to go into, into all of them, but uh, they're, they're categorized within UI and non-UI for customizing, for responsiveness, for interactions, third-party components. Um, so just as an example, uh, we could take a look at customizing the status bar uh, on mobile. So um, in, in this mobile use case, we have uh, toolkit available uh, options for you to be able to, to theme the background and the foreground of your status bar right on mobile. Um, and so how the, the recipe book is sort of structured is this problem solution sort of that it presents what really is this problem space and how um, we at Uno platform have, have built solutions for this and then how this is actually solved and implemented within our chef's uh, reference implementation. So it uh, sort of shows the code. This is all live code snippets exactly from chefs itself. Um, and it'll give you sort of a breakdown of, of you know, what it looks like in chefs. And then we have calls or links out to the actual source code for chefs. So this is the actual usage in the real chef's code that we're that we're looking at right now. And then, of course, uh, for further reading and further deeper documentation into things like status bar, we have the, the toolkit uh, documentation here, and it's embedded with um, as many of the tech bytes that we have uh, available for uh, things like uh, things like status bar and other parts of the platform. Um, and so, yes, once again, so chefs uh, is public. It's out there. Go check it out, pull it down, uh, play around with it. Uh, take a look at all the stuff. There's lots to dig into and keep keep your eye on the recipe book uh, site as well, because we just, just started building it. So there is a lot, there are a lot, a lot more guidance articles uh, that will be coming out because there's a lot of dig through in, in the chef's repo. Um, but yeah, it's, it's fully open and available. Uh, so go ahead, take a look and, uh, and yeah, I hope you learned something through looking through the chef's code. So.